Hola, soy Isaac. Hola, soy Kun. And we're from Epica, and you're watching... Metalovision. I would like to begin this interview asking you about the Enigma Tour. You were recently touring um, in France, in Italy, and in Switzerland, right? So, how is the public reaching the shows and the new album? Um, yeah, really good. The tour is going really great. We have a great package with the other bands and lots of people are coming to the show, so that's how we like it, yeah. That's great. So, there have been so many shows and so many gigs around Europe and around South America because you have lots of fans in South America, is it? Well, you know, we have lots of fans everywhere, but we don't come that often to South, South America. So, if you go there twice uh, or every two or three years, then you attract more people than, for instance, when we come to Spain. We also did a festival here in Barcelona uh, last summer, so it's harder to make them come every time. But it's it's always fun in uh, in Latin America. That's great. But I heard you visited uh, a great and exotic place that is India. How was India for you guys? Well, we still have to go there. It's between Christmas and New Year. Yeah, first time we go there and uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is a very interesting question. Do you like curry? Curry, of course. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they, they told me that you have to really be careful with it in India, that they make it so hot that you should really go for mild instead of normally when you go for hot because you can. But there you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can die. Be careful about spicy food in India. <laughs> All right. So, um, you tour with many great bands. Uh, How is how is touring with uh, Dagoba and with Dragon Force? Are you enjoying your time together? Yeah, it's been really great with these guys. Uh, usually we would tour with kind of female fronted bands maybe. And uh, actually in the US, uh, they in the US you're not like a symphonic metal fan or you're not a death metal fan, you're just a metal fan. So in the US it's more easy to, um, to have a package with all different bands. And uh, we thought it would be cool for a change to bring that concept to Europe as well and to tour with bands who maybe are not having the same fans. And um, it was a ah, risk we took, but it's been working out pretty well. So we're really happy with them and they're fun to have on tour. I'm a fan of the band. So. That's great. Uh, we recently saw the um, European Enigma After movie and it was really great. Who had that idea? Uh, it's a great idea to show the fans how a day looks when you're on tour and um, you know because the the two festival after movies were received so well we thought well we should do it for the whole tour but that's kind of expensive. <laughs> you have to bring a cameraman, you don't want to bring cameramans. <laughs> cameraman. So, uh, <laughs> but we are with three so we can <laughs> but um, so we did the first two dates. Great. Uh, could you guys uh, explain the idea of the of the VIP sessions? Uh, yeah, uh, of course. Um, so if you uh, buy a VIP ticket, it's you know, we used to have a fan club uh, and all that. So, but then when social media came about, then that kind of died because you put so much, you have other information you put on all these channels. So. It's not that exclusive anymore, so we decided to uh, not really have the official fan club anymore, um, and then go for like meet and greet. So you pay some extra money, and then you get a VIP laminate, you get a lanyard, you get a what else? A signed poster. You get to meet the band. Uh, we take a picture with them. They can enter the venue earlier, so they can, you know, buy some merch or just have a good spot in the venue. Um, stuff like that so we thought it would be a good alternative for people um, you know if the band grows it's always harder to to actually meet the fans and stuff like that so uh, so that's the alternative we came up with it's an idea also coming from the US they've been doing it for years there and uh, so that's what it's about basically and uh, yeah it's it's been working pretty well but you know it's it's a good way to uh, come closer to the fans or let them, you know, be part of, of the tour and uh, yeah, it's been working out great so I, I guess we'll, we'll do that more often in, in the future. There's only one country where we don't really do that and that's Holland because the band is from Holland and not because we don't like them but we sometimes do like these small acoustic sets open for 
for a, an amount of people, you know, so they can talk to us there and, you know. Uh, there are maybe people among our viewers uh, that have, have never listened to Epica, maybe, okay? So, <laughs> no, no. So, uh, which song would you choose as more representative of your style, guys? It's a hard question because how I see Epica, it's not just one song, it's more an album. So for the latest album would be The Second Stone or um, maybe also Last Song is pretty epic always. Uh, so those are good to check. Um, like Consigned to Oblivion, is, uh, I guess, yeah. I don't know how Kuhn thinks about it. What do you think about it? Well, it I think it's the same as Isaac. We have, you know, we, we have the, the, the more metal side of our songs and then we have the ballad side and the girly things. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, I think there's a lot to be found in our music. Uh, so you can basically check the latest album because I think we always try, you know, to put our best effort in the latest album. And you you always grow. So if you want to check out Epica, try the latest album, The Quantum Enigma.